on the benefits of genetic engineering. Essentially, it is the manipulation of an organism's DNA to produce a desired result. The potential uses for genetic engineering are near infinite and only limited by our current knowledge of genetics and the ethics established by the scientific community. Some examples of our gene therapy, the manufacturing of proteins, and cloning, which has garnered a rather infamous reputation along with genetic engineering, because ever since its inception around the 1970s, genetic engineering has been the target of exaggerated public fears usually centered around the concept that scientists either don't know what they're doing or that they have no moral or ethical values. Obviously, this is not the case because the scientific community is very invested in the ethical issues raised by their research, which according to an article from the Journal of Business Ethics on the Ethics of Bioengineering, the International Federation for Medical and Biological Engineers created an extensive inventory of existing and new ethical codes ranging from selections for organ transplants to guidelines for human and animal research. Now, as I stated before, there are numerous benefits of genetic engineering, one of the more direct ways being gene therapy. Gene therapy is a medical process used to correct the genes in a person found to cause certain diseases such as cystic fibrosis and Parkinson's disease. In the therapy, somatic cells are modified to correct the disease and placed in an empty virus as a delivery system. Empty meaning that all genetic material in the virus is gone and replaced with the genetic, engine, the genetic material of the cell and uh, infected, as in, placed as in, in a syringe and injected into the patient. The somatic cells are tissue cells taken from the person being treated and whatever modification done to the cells dies with the patient due to how somatic cells work. Now, um, it would be different if germline cells were used. Germline cells are the uh, reproductive cells of a human being, either sperm or ova, and, and contain all the reproductive data of, of a human. Any changes done to a person's germline cells would be passed down for countless generations, and because of the technical and ethical issues that surround this, it is not practiced at all. Another more familiar example of the benefits of genetic engineering is um, insulin for diabetics. Previously, diabetics, as stated by Thomas Murray in an article on bioethics, had to rely on insulin taken from domesticated animals. Now scientists have modified a particular microorganism to produce human insulin, which is far safer and does not cause reactions. Also, it's more abundant, so it affects more people and has saved numerous lives. Hmm. Genetic engineering has also greatly benefited the agricultural in in industry with uh, some examples being modified tomatoes that resist certain diseases, corn that is immune to pesticides, and potatoes that would no longer freeze during inclement weather. This is a significant aid to places uh, in the third world or harsh conditions where uh, hunger is rampant, people don't get enough food. As for cloning, in um, particularly human cloning, it's not as a, as a game changer, I guess, as the as the, my previous examples. But um, essentially, it would be an alternative to say to um, an alternative an alternative for people who want to have a biological child but could not normally do so due to certain reasons like uh, sterility or uh, others. Cloning, in theory, would produce a child nearly genetically identical to the donor, nearly since uh, various uh, complications that can happen after contraception. I say in theory because it, is, it has never been done 
reason for this is that there's such an overall stigma and um, outright ban internationally um, due to reasons of um, people viewing it as um, all around immoral, but not really explaining how it is, just stating that it is. According to uh, Bernard E. Rowland in an article from the Journal of Ethics, he found that the only legitimate ethical reason against human cloning, or really any animal cloning, would be if the process itself was harmful to the clone. And we do not know this because of the of how it is viewed. It, there is no real funding for any cloning in the world. So people will have to use no previous methods like adoption for the foreseeable future. As I said before, there is a near infinite number of possibilities within engineering. I was only met, able to um, touch on a few subjects, but I hope that that was enough to convince you that it is a very important field that deserves our attention. That was all. Oh, good. That's wonderful. Very good. Excellent. Very good. It didn't even seem well, like you Very good. Come on. I stumbled at least. Done this oh, you're old timer, right? You look very comfortable.